What is going on, folks? It's your boy Harry, aka Hangry Half Asian. Guess what? California Keto Cookie Cups. Let's do a review. Alrighty, folks, you guys know the drill. Please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. That would really help me out. And if you could, leave me a comment down below. That helps prioritize my video up the YouTube algorithm. And if you could follow me on Instagram at hangry underscore half underscore agent and on Facebook, hangry half Asian, all one word. Oh yeah, guess what? I'm also on TikTok at hangry half Asian, all one word. I would appreciate your support. All right, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. I review all things keto, test out some keto recipes, and make some stupid facial expressions in the process. Almost fell over here. All righty, so California Keto Cake Cups, uh, I don't know, they're pretty much like little mini mug cakes. Uh, you can get them on Amazon for like 30, <laughs> I like to freak it out, for 30 bucks for 10 cups. Link will be down in the description. It works out to be about $3 per cup which seems to be a little pricey for like cake cups, but well, well, let's see how they taste. Uh, we got three different flavors that we'll be reviewing today. We got chocolate chip cookie, yum. We have snickerdoodle, which is always a favorite of mine. And we have another favorite of mine, birthday freaking cake. So let's see how they taste in a minute, but autofocus first to the nutrition facts. They'll be right there. Uh, let's see, this is for the birthday cake. There's 210 calories, 18 grams of fat, which is actually pretty awesome, six grams of protein, 14 total carbs. Now, uh, that, that's, uh, what is that? Eight sugar alcohols, three fibers, that get you three net carbs. Now, to the ingredients, they'll be right there. Almond flour, erythritol, monk fruit extract, grass, uh, Butter powder, vanilla powder, golden flax seed, yada, yada, yada. Those ingredients, oh yeah, baking powder uh, and sea salt, I think those ingredients are pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is go down into the test kitchen and make me uh, up a first batch here of, well, let's see, let's do, let's do chocolate chip cookie first and I'll be right back. All right, back from a test kitchen, we have the chocolate chip cookie, cookie cup. Smells like a uh, smells like a mug cake. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get a visual taste, visual taste, <laughs> a visual test in here. Look at that. So the directions say to use one teaspoon of water. Absolutely not. I had to at least use two. It looked like it looked like I don't know sawdust in in a cup. Um, you had to mix uh, two teaspoons of water, and that gave uh, this consistency. So. Smells pretty good. Smells like a chocolate chip mug cake. Visually looks pretty appealing, right, folks? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, from a volume perspective, it is kind of, I'll be honest with you, there's not much here. So for $3, I don't know, this better like blow me away. All right, taste test. Mm. It's okay. I mean, chocolate chips are super tasty. There's a lot of them in here. It's gritty. It tastes more like a like a muffin. Um, it's pretty dry. Uh, again, maybe if you use another, maybe go three tablespoons, it'll be a little um, yeah, a little more moist. Uh, for you trigger folks, sorry. Um, I don't know, it's okay. For $3, I, I bake my own, right? Get a little almond flour, uh, some some monk fruit, throw in some lily's chips, uh, throw in an egg and call it a day. I don't, I mean, it's okay, but I don't think it's worth the $3 to be completely honest with you. And the volume, there's really not much there. I took what? I took like two and a half bites there and it's, I don't know. And there were small bites and with a little teaspoon. Eh, it's okay. Eh, a score, I don't know, for the price and the taste. I mean, I I personally, I think I've made better mug cakes. I'm gonna go two Hangry Half Asians out of five. All right, next up, Snickerdoots. Uh, let's give a smell test. <sighs> 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 
Smells like cinnamon and si sugar. Ooh, that actually smells pretty good. All right, visual test. Nothing to write home about. Just looks like a blob of brown mass. Okay, nothing to write home about, but I am hoping it tastes much better than it looks. All right, going in. Taste test. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Much better. Much better than the cookie cup, the cinnamon, the sugar, or uh, fake sugar, monk fruit, is definitely coming through way better. The chocolate chip, I don't know. It's like it's kind of played out, right? I don't know. I Snickerdoodle. I'm a sucker for cinnamon. It is pretty bang up. Now, the price, mm, could you make your own snickerdoodle mug cake? Most likely. Way more volume and uh, for uh, way less money. However, on the go, quick, it takes 60 seconds. You put two tablespoons of water in here. You mix it up, throw it in the microwave. Boom, you're done. I'm going to have to go. This is actually pretty good. I'm going to go... Three Hangry Half Asians out of five. All right, last up, we have birthday cake cookie cup. All right, let's do a smell test. Doesn't really smell like much. Um, yeah, it kind of, well, maybe there's like a little tinge of birthday cake in there, but it comes in really late and you can barely smell it. Visual test. I don't know. If you can see, there is some some shards there of uh, of uh, sprinks. Uh, let's see if I dig in. You can see them a little bit now. Yeah, the, the sprinks are there, but they're very small. Okay, let's go in for a taste test. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of tastes like like shoe leather. <laughs> I don't know. Like it just kind of tastes really artificial. There's like Yeah, I guess you could taste like some birthday cake, but it's it's yeah, I I don't know. The the taste is not appetizing at all. It just tastes completely artificial. <laughs> yeah, this one sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna go one Hangry Half Asian out of five. All right, folks, in summary, uh, pretty disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. The price is a little too high, and for what you get, it's not all that great. So I would probably stay away from these if I were you. But if you really wanna try them out, link will be down in the description. They're like $30 for 10 cups. Um, so if you like this review and receive more uh, content like this, smash that like button, okay? Smash subscribe and delicately select the notification bell ding and kindly leave me a comment and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks folks.